spoiler alert. If you're going to listen to Sunday's sermon this week, ah, you're going to hear the story at the end of it if you listen to this devotion. So just, you know, Scout's Honor. Uh, if you don't mind a little spoilage for Sunday, keep keep watching. Keep watching anyway. It's worth it, right? So I was a chaplain in Duke a Hospital, and uh, some of you may have heard this story, but I – I was going door to door. It was my first week on the job, and I walked into and knocked on this door. And these two African American ladies, uh, middle aged, answered the door and very concerned, very tense. I looked beyond them, and their mother, who's very skeletal, her name is Rose, uh, is looks like she's died. And I said, "I'm so and so, Pastor. You know, it's Pastor Scott here as chaplain on this floor. Can I?" pray for your mother. And they said, no, no, please. Uh, we're busy right now. And um, we have our own pastor. We don't need your services. And they closed the door. I thought, yeah. wow. All right. So here's some fellow believers, but they don't want me to pray with them. So this is going to be a tougher gig than I thought. This is like the third door in successive series that I had been, you know, move along, move along, move along. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Anyway, so um the weekend passes and I go back to my rounds on the floor. And as I'm walking past that door, I'm thinking, ah, you know, and they told me they didn't, they got their own minister. They don't want me to, to come and pray. So, but then I felt like this Holy Spirit telling me, saying, go back there, knock again. I thought, nah. And I walked to the next door and said, no, go back. So I went back. I knocked on the door. The, one of the daughters answered again, oh, pastor, my sister and I are back and forth. We were saying after an hour or so, we should have we should have had you come pray, too. I mean, how much we can't ever have enough prayer for our mom. So, was, you know, honest to goodness, these are their words. And they said, well, please come in. And I said, sure. And I said, Rose, I'm Pastor Scott. I'm a chaplain. And nothing. Rose's eyes are closed. She's just faintly breathing. She's in her late 90s, very skeletal. <clears throat> doesn't look like she's long for this world. And I'm thinking she can't hear me, but I'm saying, Rose, you know, I'm my outdoor voice. In case she's hard of hearing, still nothing. I said, well, turn to her daughters and said, you know, I'd like to say a prayer with your mom. I'd like to read her maybe a passage of scripture. Does she have a favorite scripture? And I said, well, something about light and salvation. Uh, I said, well, you can give me a little bit more because that there's a couple hundred Bible passages of which that applies. And but it sounds like it could be a psalm. I said, Well, we really don't know. That's all we know. So I turned to today's devotion, Psalm 27. And I begin to read this to Rose. I'll never forget this my whole life. And I start to say the verse, first verse, the Lord is my light and my salvation. And Rose opens her eyes. And Rose, in this voice as strong as mine, repeats word for word every piece of the 27th Psalm. And in the background, her daughters are saying, that's it, Pastor. That's her one. That's her favorite passage in Scripture. That's it. And I sat there thinking to myself of the thousands of chapters in the Bible. This isn't me here. This is the Spirit doing some incredible things. Wow. I'll never forget Rose. She's long since gone home to God. But Psalm 27, the Lord is my light and salvation, always remind me of her. Hopefully, you've got a God moment as well. It sheds a little light into your life and where God has appeared in ways that made you pause and say, wow, amen.